So yes, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can actually bind these uh, table and also other elements into your UiPath apps. So now I'm going to show that. Um, so if you wanted to see, uh, if you wanted to get this particular uh, whole project into your orchestrator and how you can do that, that I will show you by end of this video. So you don't have to create this whole workflow. You can just download it and utilize it for your ease. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here. Um, so this is my, uh, you know, a text box. So in the general, I'm going and here I have to do a binding. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an app variable because this is coming from the app into my process. Okay. So for that, I'm going to create an app variable and I'll say str product. Okay. And this I'm pulling over here. So done. And next thing is the most important thing. I'm going to actually link my process. Okay. So in the cloud uh, orchestrator, I have my process in the in this particular folder. So this is the something that I wanted to link it. So done. So once after you enter the uh, product information. So it is getting stored. OK. Yes. So once after you enter the product information, you'll click on search. So as soon as you click on the search, it will uh, trigger the event. So what is the event? You have to create a rule. So you have to um, start the process. I'm clicking on start process. So you also what process to start here. If you just select on this, you can see this is the process that we have attached from the orchestrator to our UiPath apps. Correct. So this will be this process will be available for us to attach into this particular app. So I'm going to pull this here and then after that, when process starts, I'm going to tell that fetching the product information. OK, so it will give you that uh, buffering symbol, spinning symbol where it will let you know that the process is happening in the background okay so when completed i will show when completed i will again have my spinning sorry here i should uh, i should have my spinning show the spinner inside which i will have the message okay that uh, fetching the product information okay and once it is completed, I will just disable this. OK, so these are the things that I want uh, to happen as soon as I hit on the search. Close this and here you have Flipkart and your table, right? So whatever the details that comes from the Flipkart should go and sit here. So if you see, I have created two different data tables here. So in the output, I have extract table and Amazon details. So extract table is basically the details coming from the flip card. Amazon details is a table coming from the um, Amazon. OK, so inside which you have two things. OK, product name and price, product name and price, which are the column names. I will also talk about one more detail that you should know here. So I'm going to click this and <clears throat> first thing I will bind the data source. So what is the data source? For me, <clears throat> inside the best deal, I have extract table, okay, and my column information. So as soon as I hit enter, I can see two columns replicated. But if at all you are running this process for the first time, you cannot see these column names. So whatever the column names I'm seeing here, let me show you here, okay. Whatever the column names I could see here, right? That extract table has two columns. Amazon details has two columns. So these column names you cannot see if you are running this for the first time. For these columns to show up, you have to run this process from orchestrator at least once. Only then you can see these column names in the UiPath apps. Otherwise, you cannot see. Okay, so that is one thing you should remember. Okay, done. These both are coming up. That's it. We are done. I have binded these things perfectly. So all the changes are saved. Let's click on preview. OK, it's getting ready. Go to which I'll close these apps. 
okay i'm gonna type i watch is the thing that i want to search it went to flipkart it is searching for i watch it is fetching the details it's going to amazon it's searching in the search bar for i watch and it started to fetch the details now the orchestra uh, the studio process is still running so it's once after it's done i'm gonna go to uipath apps to check the details so this is perfect i got the information right perfect great so that's what i wanted to show you in this video so in the next video i'm going to talk about one more interesting topic about uipath apps or any latest update that's happening in the uipath so in order to not miss any of the videos please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell so if you're watching my channel for the first time if you like the content please consider subscribing and also like the videos and share across your friends for more such informative content please do follow